Okay, guys, here we go. I'm going to start a Russian campaign with this. Gates of Hell Lost Front. Also, a game that's very difficult for me to remember what it's called. Alright, we're going to play hard level as the Soviets. Hard commies. Campaign size. Let's just go to uh, large. Fog of war. I don't know why you'd want to play without it. Doesn't make any sense to me. Being able to see everything on there. Okay. We have five things we can set up for on the research tree. And we're probably going to have to spend that on a vehicle. See what the vehicle tree looks like. I got five so I could get a T26 model one, one 1931, which is the double machine gun one. Or go down the BT route and only get to a BT5, but that's closer to the T34 sequence, so that's starting to look a little better because down the T26 sequence, well, you can, I guess you could do either one, depends on whether I want a heavy tank or not. Let's go ahead and um, spend a point there. And another two points there, and I've got two left. We save them for the T35, for the T35 going in there, or Let's see what the infantry squad situation is. These guys have pretty poor infantry squads. Yeah, we're need going to need to add the commissar here, and now we have a call in stage two. That leaves me with one point left. We're going to spend that one point on a better infantry squad, this rifle squad, no light machine gun. Okay? That's where we're going to spend our research points. And, um, Hilltop. Oh, can I change a different one to Hilltop? I really dislike Hilltop. Glushkovo. Okay. Alright. Um,. So let's see what the, one of these, um, see how much one of these tanks goes for, uh, 275, so we're going to go ahead and put them here, let's do two tanks. Two infantry squads. Set a third infantry squad. As soon as I can find them, here they are. Leaves me with 80. I can do a medic or an AT detachment. Go ahead and do a medic. Okay, group one is going to have a tank and an infantry squad. Group two is going to have a tank and an infantry squad and a rifle, another infantry squad and the medic will be there, okay? And let's go ahead and start. So we can get ourselves into
Welcome to the Eastern Front, folks. Well, I just painted a couple of these T26s, so let's see how these look. Takes a little while to load this thing up, and then it runs smooth. Caching entries, 91%. It is still frigid in this house. <laughs> it's like 52 degrees outside, which is, you know, fine, but man, it feels like it's even colder than that in this house. And I don't even have the fan on. This is taking a while to load up. It's stuck at 92%. Oh, and just like that, starting. Okay. All right. We gotta take both of these groups, so we got. Oh, we could just bring them both on. All right. Let's take a look at these tanks. Oh, this one's got, this one's got a radio. 240 has a, uh, a radio. Got that radio antenna. And this one does not. Interesting. Okay. What's this, a medic? You guys need to... Let's go ahead and get everybody prone. Three rifle squads and a medic, and two. Two T26s. All right. Let's go ahead and move this infantry squad over here. I guess I had the wrong one clicked, and this one over there. Medics are going to go over here by the tree, and this infantry squad about there. T-26 is on the road. game actually does a good job of not running over your own guys. I mean, these guys are taking a long time to... Let's move these guys into this house. And into this trench line there. Other squad can move here.
There we go. Guys, move over here. What happened to the infantry squad that was on the other side? What's going on here, you incompetent buffoons? Objective is to take this zone here. And there's a water source on the way there. Lovely. And looks like a knocked out bridge of some sort. Oh, let's move these guys into. Into that house. Take that squad and move them there. Take this squad and move them there. And the medics. Drop prone, folks. All right, let's take this. Let's move this tank over here. Taking fire from the from the house. We're gonna need to move the. Actually, it's just a trench line. It's over there. Medics moving up. And let's go ahead and move these tanks up. Happy New Year, man. Welcome to the Eastern Front. Let's see if we can cross this. I'm going to move these tanks up. Merry Christmas to you too, Wolfman. Hopefully you had a nice holiday or time with a family or, as I like to say, you celebrated it and however you wanted to. We have a vehicle. Oh, it's a horch. It's a horch car with a machine gun. They're they're hosed. Medic over here. T twenty sixes are doing Overwatch.
Somebody's showing up here. Okay, move this guy up. Alright, we captured that one zone. Now we're going to have to turn. And the other zone to capture is way the hell over here. And I have no other reinforcements. So. Where are my tanks? We're going to have to move these guys up about here. Squads there leaves nobody behind, okay. And these two tanks are defending over there. Come on. No goulash for you. I know they're going to throw reinforcements at this town. I know they're going to. Oh, look at this nice zigzag trench. Oh, I see a vehicle. Let's rotate. Let's rotate. What kind of a vehicle is it? not good. It's like something with a machine gun. These poor communist bastards are just getting hosed by this thing. I have them deploy a smoke grenade. Now we can crawl away from it. What is it? Oh, this that. Yeah, don't bring a car to a gunfight. Now. got a guy that's dying there. This is quieted down. Sequence save the one guy. This is squad's over here. I'll have them move back into position. and healthing the one guy up. Let's move the medic back. Medic's back. And we can reunite these guys with their squad. And somehow I got a... Somehow the medic... the medic in the squad. 
having them out of harm's way is a little bit better. Let's look and see what the situation is heading that way. I'm going to put this squad that was under fire and I'm going to have them hustle into this building. This, this is the way I'm going to be going now towards that objective that's over here. Uh, snap another one. Hit the ground, dude. The road through the forest is problems. <laughs> Just drove right through that car. Let's, uh, let's take the other T-26. I need to leave him over here in case he decide to make a run for this, this zone. They killed a Luftwaffe rifleman. I don't know what the hell he's doing here. But. Oh, look at all these! Look at these! Look at these troops here! All right, we're, we got to bring a T twenty six that way. There's a cackle of German infantry just milling, milling a boot. Come on, medic. Well, that's a long shot. What's he doing? Man. He's trading shots with somebody. I don't know that I made it here in time. Let's have him bust through these. Bust through this fencing. Got a guy behind us? Artillerymen of some sort. All right. I see the reinforcements coming that way. We better hustle. <coughs> Move this squad in this house. This squad up to the French, up to the fence line. This squad over to here. I'm gonna split the medics up. We'll put one over here with the with this group. I'm leaving this base A zone basically undefended. I need more infantry squads. There's guys coming this way, so. Let's get these tanks in a position where they're going to be able to. Mm hmm. Hurt folks coming this way.
Somebody's not having a good day. Shouldn't be such a Nazi. Oh, great. Now they're coming this way. All right. We, those guys are protecting that. Let's, let's, haul this, let's haul ass with these guys. These arrows here up mean they're coming in that direction. Lots of guys over there. Hunker down. Bring the T twenty six. All right, that's a good place for him to be. What's the situation over here? Medic? I don't want to leave the medic all the way back here. Let me see if the... Medic, run across the field! Um, I don't know what the hell that was. Artillery, maybe? Okay, drop prone. situation here. They're okay. Use the health packet. Alright, we're going to need to push on this area here. we got one squad. Let's get this guy inside here somewhere. The medic that's back here with the squad. Medic team, you get two guys, so Hopefully they don't have an anti-tank gun. The T-26 has weight for thin armor. But we need to make ourselves known. See what we got here. Infantry. basically open all the way here. You guys are going to have to crawl across the open. I could put pressure on these guys with the tanks. Uh, there's some infantry over there.
I don't want to brag, but we're looking pretty good right now. We'll move this tank up into this trench line. Once this infantry is able to cap help capture that. And they're coming from the other direction. We better hurry and capture this before we lose that other town. I'm going to do the same thing here. These guys are going to going to double back. Stand up, boys. And then we will double our back to the town. Where's the opening for this building? Get in there. Don't need them to capture. There we go. That was it. Okay, so we won the first one, and offensive battles are a lot easier than. Um, defensive battles are a lot easier than, than offensive battles normally. So, I technically did the harder one, and you alternate between each. So the next battle in the campaign will be a defense battle. And let's see how many, how many points we got to play with to improve our forces, get reinforcement, that type of thing. We only got two and a half points of uh, improvements. I'm probably going to want to sit on that. Um, because in the tank situation, I don't really need a more modernized T26. I, I'm going to have to want to go down to T35s and go down the KV-1 zone. So, infantry squad-wise, can we get a squad with a light machine gun in it? Yes, we could potentially do that. Well, let's see what kind of situation we got. How many points did we get? 538. So, we need to resupply all. That's going to drop me to 441. I have 58 of 60 here, of these points here, and I've got... 40 of 50, so I can't get another tank uh, without getting another command. So I'm getting kind of maxed out of where I'm at right this moment. So I think I'm going to have to put um, a command squad here so next time I can get college st call in stage 3 and get another one of these tabs where I can assign stuff to. Because I've got 441 points and really no way to, to improve what I have here. I got 10 more points here that I can add. I can add AT, AT detachment. But uh, a squad, I could a conscript rifle squad. I really don't really care to buy rifle squads that you know are known garbage. We're going to get a um, any tank rifle squad and a tank detachment here we go could I even do another one 
Okay, so we got a couple of these guys we can put in defensive positions. And three rifle squads, two anti-tank rifles, three rifle squads, a medic team, two T-26s. Okay, Steelworks Factory, do I get a choice of what the, of where I can defend? No, I'm defending the Steelworks Factory, whether I like it or not. Okay, I, I'm actually not looking forward to that. We're going to keep the tanks in reserve where we can counter-strike with them. And um, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. We put the headphones down and get a refill on the coffee. But it's running, so there's no way to pause this. Made it back in time. All right, comrades. And you definitely can capture vehicles. So if I knock out a tank, I can try to fix it and then put it back into my force. And you don't necessarily have to have a tank crew that can do that. You can have regular infantry. They, they do it substantially slower. But... Troop qualities do improve as they get kills and experience and so forth. To be honest with you, I'd rather not even encounter an enemy vehicle. I, I encountered two Adler scout cars, so i got to defend these two areas here, and I'm going to come in in the middle. I'm going to come in in this white zone. So let's bring all our forces here. Oh, we're not able to bring those. Oh. The tank looks a little different. Oh, we got to check out the tanks. Oh, nice. It's got the, the two searchlights there. Cute. All right. And can we bring them on? Okay, we, we brought everybody on. All right. Now, there are some vehicles here that we cannot hop into. They're just there for ambiance. We've got a zone we have to defend here that has really bad cover and the other zone is also really bad cover and what about the terrain between them it's difficult to get through so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move both tanks into this zone here where they can react in either direction and we're going to split the squads. Um, an anti-tank rifleman in each area, a squad in each area, and uh, maybe put two squads over in this zone. And then the medics, uh, split the medics in half. All right, so we're going to take these, this tank and this tank, move them to a central zone. We're going to take this squad here, and I have to defend this. I really don't want to be all up in there. Can I... <sighs> Can I be inside this building? Yes. Okay, and the anti-tank riflemen, we will move them into...
let's move them back here. Okay. Um, and another squad. I don't want to defend the zone directly. I don't want. I want to keep them together because we're going to need a a medic. Let's just bring the other squad, say, here for the time being. Okay, the last squad is going to go here. And the anti-tank rifleman that has not been picked will go over to this zone. Where is that building they're going to... And... We're going to move them in this large building. And let's go to the medic squad. Okay, one medic will go in here, and the other medic will go. I've gotten a lot better at doing this than when I first started. I'll have him move into this building as well with the squad. Who's this guy moving by himself? He's a rifleman that's. Leading the charge, I guess. All right, where's the tanks at? Here, okay. Why are guys stuck behind the tank? <laughs> it was getting blocked by the tank. Okay, yeah, they're in that building, all right? Those guys are moving up. These guys are in position here. Here's the medic moving in. Okay. We like them up there. Okay. And they're coming from that direction. You can see the arrows there. All right. Well, we've already gotten 175 points of a 1,000, so it is just kind of a waiting game. And we, we will go ahead. Let's see what the lay of this land is like. It's a foggy day. Which has more experience? That little star with a 2 is an experience level. So, okay, so the command tank has a 1 experience. The other one's a 2. I've seen as high as 8. I was playing a German campaign one time, and one of my guys had, like, up to 8 experience. But and then, you know, he took a shell, and there goes that. All right, we're going to need to move these guys up a little bit. the situation here. Alright, this guy is the medic. We're going to keep him over here, and let's go ahead and prone him. The other squad, we're going to go ahead and move them to this corner. Be ready to spot some guys, that then we can send the tanks in and hose them. I hope these I hope these fuel tanks aren't filled with fuel or something that are combustible. Shit, I should try that while I'm while I'm sitting here waiting for them to show up, which could happen any moment. So 
switch to HE. Ready up. No, we're good. Right, let's switch back to AP. There's so much to this game. You can play it as an infantryman. You can play it as a overall commander. Um, you could, I guess, play it um, in 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 a regular battle mode. You could you could play it as a flirt person and just never do anything, and just kind of go around and look at things happen and. Awfully quiet. Yeah, I don't want to be directly in this zone. Okay, interesting that I saw him over here first. They're going to have to crawl into... Oh, there he is. They already have 270 of a 1,000 points. They have none, so... Oh, we got more guys appearing over here. Oh, we got guys that are in the zone. All right. We're going to have to we're going to have to split the tanks up. Let's bring one in about here. Oh, jeez. I really didn't want to split the tanks up, but the other one we're going to bring in right here we don't need no wall we drive right through it jeez man go around the lumber <laughs> oh is he gonna run over the tractor Come on, dude, hustle. Oh, they decided not to capture it. Are oh, the guys that were capturing it? Oh, there's people in both of them. There's zi nobody's getting points for either one. All right. Let's go ahead and bring this tank here. Capturing it there. All right, let's. This game is always challenging. Let's have it start capturing that zone a little bit. I don't really want to move that anti-tank rifle team up any. Did we take any damage here? No. We're in good health. This infantry, they could use a medikit. And they did capture that zone as the Germans. Okay, so we need to do something about that. Oh, we lost a guy in the anti-tank rifle. All right, who's he taking fire from? We need to... We have a vehicle over here. Another one of those scout cars. Oh, he's meat. That's right, knock his ass out. See if I can move this thing out of the way. I cannot. Oh, and this guy's got like a tank rifle or something. Okay, 
Okay, this medic he needs to crawl. Nope, crawl. And go help him out. Crawl over there. That's why I split the medics. And then we'll... I wish they would say English things with a Russian accent. They could be saying really interesting things and I'm, I'm missing out on them. Okay, and he will crawl back to his little corner in there. What's the situation over here? Take the sky, let's rotate them like so. Let's go back here. There is a host of folks. Good. I'm going to have to move the squad up into here, which I'm to be able to control that building. We'll have to do it when we have an opening. What is this horde of red markers? Oh, what's going on here? Oh, this is this is not good. Oh shit, I forgot about the squad over here. They're down to one guy. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it happens. Well, I I guess he can crawl his happy ass back over here. <laughs> What's going on here? We're, we're going to have to go on the offense here. See if we can rush across this fast. Okay, now we will take this tank and we will move move this tank into this zone. Oh! I lost because he, they must have taken both zones. Oh, well they caught me off guard. Well the good news is I don't think I lost a single team completely. But the bad news that might I'm not going to get any points worth a damn. There I go running in my mouth about defensive battles being easier. And they normally are, but... I didn't want to keep guys... To, there was nowhere good to defend on those zones. I figured I could set up a little bit farther back and maybe try to trip some folks up with, with bullets, but I guess that didn't work too well. Well, we're going to have to resupply... Um, we got a 1.5 point. Can we use that to call it stage three? We can. Okay. Not a total loss. Now we have this third one we can populate. Anybody get an experience? The rifleman didn't get enough. They either got experience or, and the guys that had experience died or I had to replace them and it kind of lowered everybody's experience level. But the tanks are still good. Mar Marford Minsk. The only thing I don't like about this game is I'll show you right here. When it's time to select a mission, the one that's selected here, well, here I don't have a choice. There's no way really to tell what the hell's going on. Uh, sometimes when you have more choices, one of them is circled, like this one is with the da with the dashed lines, or the yeah the dash circle. That's the one that's selected, and sometimes I have more than one option. But this is it. So if I lose this battle, um, I'm basically defending my headquarters. So I need to go on the offense. So we're going to confirm that. What's this battle location look like? It's snowy. Okay, and um, 345 points. Let's go ahead and we have a third team here. 
Let's add another T26. Okay, that leaves me with 100 points. And what can I do with 100 points? I really don't want to use, get a bunch of... crummy infantry. <sighs> See what's a rifle squad. They're 90. Okay, that's not terrible. That leaves me with 10.6. I don't think I can do anything with 10.6 point, 10.6 credits. Yeah, AT is 40. Okay, well that's what we're going to go with then. We got one, two, three T thir T26s, three rifle squads, two AT detachments, and a medic. And uh, we're on the offense, so here we go. You know, you got these tanks that have the coax machine gun, and it's getting, it's doing most of the damage. You know, against infantry, that's what you want, is you've got this coax machine gun that, if you don't have any anti-tank weapons, it's basically invincible. You know, as long as you stay out of, like, grenade range, or, you know, some range where, you know, you're, you're going to get clambered upon, um, that's really what you want. The 45 millimeter gun, it really is more useful for, if they have to encounter, you know, any tanks, which I have not seen any. They may have had some in the last battle, but they didn't make an appearance. The only vehicle that did make an appearance on the German side was an Adler scout car, which is nothing more than a civilian vehicle with some armor plate on it and a and one MG34. That's it. Not exactly something I'm going to fear, but... Well, I do not like the way this... The advances here. Here's one zone I gotta take, and then on my way to the next zone, which is there, which is like literally a wood pile. Okay. Well, let's bring this one and this one on. And we need to start moving. Okay, here's the two tanks, and the last group is one squad and tank. Let's see what the crossing point looks like, because there's a body of water here, and it's ice. All right, first of, all, first of all, let's rotate this so that we're moving up towards the top of the board and angle it a little bit so we've got some perspective. All right. All right, so we're going to take this squad. We're going to move into the back of this building. We're going to take this squad. We're going to move to the wood pile. Any tank rifle team, let's move them there as well. The other squad will move in the middle of the woods. We need to split, this, we need to split these medics up. One of them is going to be over here. One of them is going to be over here. And T26 on this side of the woods. T26 on that side of the woods. All right. A few more points and we'll gain another squad and another tank. You keep all tanks together, pushing forward. I'm going to go.
go ahead and move the medic across there this squad I'm gonna rush to the back of this wood pile come on hustle All right, now it's going to get squirrely. This squad needs to go prone. Let's bring this medic up here. What kind of terrain is there for another squad to move in here? This is like nothing. All right, so let's go ahead and take this squad and have them move across here prone pronely. Okay. These guys are now available. This is the new squad. Move them here. And the new T26 is here. Does it have an antenna? Oh, can't tell like that. We need to do this. It does not. Okay, so the commander did not get... There's only one command tank. And I'm pretty sure that's just aesthetics. It doesn't do anything. Other than make us treadheads excited. This model makes a couple of T26s in 172nd with the with the ante with the antenna. In a two pack, move them up, move him here, move him over here. Who's here? A squad? Oh, an anti tank rifle. Oh, I guess I did lose an anti tank rifle squad. I only have one. All right. Well, let's move their happy butt there. And we're going to hustle these guys here and be prepared to drop them prone. Because there is a time limit on this. I do need to be conscious of the time, although it's not too bad. I do need to keep moving towards the objective or we're going to run into issues. All right. Let's go ahead and drop those guys prone. Let's take these guys and move them out here. And where's the third tank here? Okay. One, two, three, T26s. is up here anything Boy, medic's just out in the open Okay, as soon as we peek our way through these woods, there's going to be some exchange of fire between whatever's here and my tanks. That's all it took. Oh, 
I don't know why they decided to stand up. Um, you guys can drop prone now. Um, What a disaster. What a disaster. It literally took one step forward. Oh, well. Let's get that infantry out of the way there. The problem is there's a, a considerable amount of friendly fire in this game. This squad just needs to get out of the way. I wonder if my tanks can cross that frozen river. Crap, there's a guy out here bleeding. I can't, I'm not going to send a medic all the way up there. Let's move the anti -co. Medics all the way back here. Yeah, you're just bleeding. Now that guy. I will try to save. Because I think he's safe where he's at. Oh, I see some kind of uh, tank gunner or machine gun or something. Could be a mortar, MG34. The symbol for it is the same as a as a gun. All right, one of these tanks is a noob. I think I should just do this personally. I think I should do do this personally. Here we go. Okay, we're good. Cross the river, comrade. Did we save that one guy? Let's get this uh, medic the hell out of here. Looks like it. Three T-26s cross the frozen river are now... Shelling that position. Of course, I saw there was reinforcements coming this way on the map, so hopefully I don't have uh, a bunch of tanks. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and rotate slightly this way in case there are some tanks that come in from the flank. Although a T-26 has pretty much wafer-thin armor any way you cut it. All right, we've got a second um, wave of the infantry here. We're going to take these two, we're going to leave that tank where he is, we're going to take these two tanks and have them move into this dotted area and start trying to exert their control on that point. 
Why didn't you respond to orders? These guys are a little too co close for comfort. I don't like these guys this close. Let's move the infantry across. That's got to be really comfortable. Crawling on your belly, bellies across a frozen river. <laughs> Getting chilled just thinking about it. That's okay. We will stay warped by thoughts of socialism. <laughs> infantry oh look oh we've got some squads coming up across here oh we have a vehicle what is it another one of them stupid scout cars Calling that a scout car is kind of insulting to a scout car. All right, I think we can move this medic across now. And the anti-tank rifle team, we will move him here. And where is the medic that's on this side? Oh, that was the medic on this side. I'm sorry. I thought it was the, I thought it was this guy. Okay, well, we're going to take this medic and we're going to move him over here. Okay. Now, we're going to capture this shortly. And then we need to push to this wood pile. But all the reinforcements seem to come from this direction over here. This direction over like there. So we got to be careful that we may have to leave somebody back here defending it. And there is limited ammo, but there's enough machine gun ammo in, in tanks to, to last a while. Now we're going to have to... Can we get inside this building? Sometimes it's so difficult to, to find the opening into a building to get inside of it. All right, this squad that's here, they need to move into whatever little home this is. There's a cute little home here, but... If you're able to enter it anyways, let's just move back here. What do we have here? Panzer II. Panzer II F, heads up. Come on, T-26s. Let's bring the other T-26 online. Oh, man. Look at all that German infantry just coming across opening. What happened with this uh, Panzer II? Can this squad get in here? Man, I don't see the... Let's take a look at something. Let's go in. Let's take control of him. Oh, there's no line of sight in there. Okay, that's useless to go in there. Okay. So in that case... 
in that case, is this all part of the same squad? Yeah, okay. These guys here, um, wow, this is interesting. Uh, I'm not ready to dig yet. We're probably going to dig some defenses out here in the open and defend those. I mean, once the Germans stop streaming in, we knock out that Panzer too. We may have. Man, there is just, there is just a minefield of bodies here. But we do need to capture the other objective. What's the situation here on this flank? Uh, we've got these in this, this house that's probably useless. Um, I think this is probably another house as well that's useless. Let's take control of this guy and see what we can see inside. There's not much to this house. Okay, I really don't want to be in the front yard here. Let's just put this guy back with the squad. And uh, let's move them here. I don't really want them in the front yard where they can be seen and shot at at long range. Not my idea of a, of a good time. So we're going to take this medic and we're going to move him back there with that squad. Okay, the squad. No, I say any tank rifle team there. Okay. All right. Um, let's take this squad that's here and um, have them. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And they're going to start digging. Let's move this uh, line of advance up a little bit. And they're the guys that are going to be left there defending that control point. And we're probably going to move this anti-tank rifle unit. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. We'll take this anti -tank, these anti-tank rifle guys. We'll move him back. And we can keep them nearby. So if a tank decides to move in on that control point, we'll be all right. And go ahead and hustle across now. I always knew what to do with this game. I just didn't know how to do it. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> now I've played this enough that you know I can, I can verbalize. I want to do this, and I click the right thing, and like, holy smokes, what do we got? Panzer three E, heads up, hot potato. Where's the other tank? Where's the other tank? He does have a line of sight to him. Okay, good. We should be able to take out the Panzer III if we can hit him. Well, we can hit him. The question is, hit him again. Make the crew bail. That's right. Now, where is my tank that got knocked out? Is it this one? It is that one. Do we have a crew in there? No, I'm not sure what happened to him. Okay, these guys are... Okay, these guys should... I don't know why they're not... 
in the foxholes as they should be. Okay, that's reasonable. All right, so we have a T26 here, it's knocked out. Well, before we do anything else, we have another squad that's here. We're gonna take this guy and go inside. And we're gonna go here and take this guy and you also go inside. And we're gonna take this guy and you also go inside. So there's the three men that are gonna be part of that crew. And they're able to climb inside, which means it's salvageable to some degree. This is actually the easiest way to do it. Now, can it move at all? It can. Oh. What is this submachine gunner doing by himself? He might have been part of the tank crew. I don't know. We'll leave him right there. We'll leave a submachine gunner. I don't know what happened to this tank. It looks like it's some it's damaged in the center. I'm going to um, I'm going to attempt to repair it while we're doing nothing else. Uh, let's move the medic over here to this house and see what kind of assets we're willing to move forward and capture the other zone. Um, what's left of the squad here can go. Up oh, here can go. This squad can go. Uh, and this squad back here can go. So we're going to take this medic and we're going to move them across there. We're going to take this squad and we're going to move them over here to the wood pile. All right. And I don't think I'm going to leave one of the T26s back here. I think I'm going to move all of them together. So if we encounter anything, we can... Uh... Now, here's an interesting thought. Where is that half, that half squad that I stole from? This one. What if I did repair? That Panzer III is repairable. I, I, I'm just going to leave him alone. It's in the wrong place. It's in the wrong place to, to just be all the way out there. Okay, that T-26 has a way to go to be repaired. Let's, um, another vehicle of some sort. Another one of those KFZ 15s. All right, let's scooch this guy up across here. Let's take this one, move him over there. He's about half repaired. Let's take this. This. No, that's a Matic. But this one. There we go. move them over to this side over here in the woods and drop prone all right this squad here I'm gonna move them here just to have a better field of view yeah I'll stay standing up that's fine Get there quick. There's some slackers that were way back there, screwing around. All right, you guys drop prone. And we're going to rotate them so that they look that way. All right. Now, we got a, a medic there. And we got an anti-tank rifle team there. And we've got the partial squad there. So we're going to take the partial squad move them over here. It 
She has a time limit, but they only have half the po the a third of the points to win. So you're not super rushed. Um, you do need to you know make progress, but. All right, this T26 is almost 100% operational. Uh, I don't know why this submachine gunner, he is the squad leader for this, end up being, let's, let's be careful here. Let's make sure we only select these two units. There we go, let's put them, that puts them all together. Vehicle's repaired. He will climb his happy ass in here. Come on. Or he's still fixing it? No, nah. go, go ahead and go inside. It's repaired enough. Oh, is the command tank? All right. So this thing is now inexperienced. Something must have happened. It knocked out all three crew members, but the tank was still okay. Where's that coming from? Over this way, we have another assault group of the. All right. Let's go ahead and rotate these guys. That sounds like a popcorn popper. All right, this guy's gonna move over this way. And what kind of terrain is there? Looks, is this a, a trench? It is a trench. Let's start moving towards the trench. Crawl on your bellies. You guys, crawl on your bellies. These guys are gonna stay here. And a tank rifle, holy crap! That shot came from a different direction. Uh-oh. We need that. <laughs> Medic needs to get his happy ass out of there. Just go find a shell hole. Wow. Wow, I wonder... Holy smokes. Holy smokes, what is that? It's a Pack 37. All right. No. No, that's what they want me to do. Shit. Move out of range of him. Good. Keep going. Don't engage the anti-tank gun. They are a pain to deal with. What's going on here? There's one guy left in the tank. I'll have him try to repair it. Or oh, the tank isn't repairable. Uh, we need to move forward. We gotta move out of range of that any tank gun. Or what's gonna any tank gun is the biggest problem for a tank because they're hard to hit. going on what's going on here with this tank why won't this asshole get in there okay so don't get in there another guy running towards the middle of nowhere all right how, what's the access point to this wood pile up that way Okay. On your bellies. I'm telling you, this game is always challenging. I don't know who the hell he's shooting at, but we're just going to ignore him. I really don't want to weaken that position. If everybody was still there, it would be different, but they're not anymore. I've already moved them to, to come over and and do something. I'm going to attempt to crawl all the way across there. Nope, you guys need to crawl, dudes. You need to crawl. And, um, how do you access?
access that. I, I think I'll keep the tanks on this side because if they come from the other direction, if they come over from the left, I'll have them both over there. Oh, some guy had an SVT and took out the artillerymen in the pack 30 us. They eventually got them. Good job, SVT man. SVT being the semi automatic. rifle that the Soviets had in, I guess, reasonable numbers and early in the war. They had more of them than the Germans did. You'd think that wouldn't be the case, but... Well, we have something here. What is this? All right, we need to bring in tank support. and control that point. We keep this infantry alive. We have very limited infantry. And I do not like the idea of charging tanks into woods, unsupported. Battle the wood pile. something over here. There's an MG-34 over here that is drawing a lot of attention, so come on T-26. Let's break through the woods and start peppering that, that MG-34. the wood pile looks like we there's one guy bleeding sorry dude I'm not I only have one medic and I'm not running him across oh, the, oh, the squad that's there in the open kind of survived they didn't even take a hit oh, excellent well we need to just count our blessings that zone before they put some kind of pressure on that town back here and I've got nothing to defend against it. All right, we've already started taking some of it which means there's either not very many people left. Oh! A rifle barks. There's someone here. I don't need to go put I don't need to push the pawn and go find his ass. We'll capture this. We have like fifteen to one people in there. It's a matter of time, matter of seconds. Oh, he didn't like that.
What a fun little battle this one was. As soon as you capture the second point, when you're on the offense, it's over. Yep. So they got one vehicle kill on me. I got five on them. I was afraid that that Panzer III could have just kept eating everybody up. And they killed 16 infantry. They got 16 kills of mine, and I got 132 of them. So, And they're at the veteran level, so... So I, I'm guessing I have two options of places to defend. We're going to resupply all. And that consumes just about everything that we have. We have 169 more points. That's not enough to buy another tank. 2.5 research. Let's look at the research tree. I think I'm going to have to save that to to go down the tree in this direction. I think improving a T26 doesn't really do anything for me. Well, at least we do have some space here to put some more squad worth. What do we got? Rejev is the battle location. What's that look like? Pretty open. Um, no, I have to defend Rejev. Hold on one second, folks. I'm going to be right back. Okay, um, what can I do? What can I do? It's a defensive scenario. Honestly, I feel like I need more squads. Um, I got one, two, I got four rifle squads. My AT guy, my AT group died. How much do they cost? 80, something like that? Maybe they're 40. They're 48. Alright, so I can add one of them here. I can add another one of them here. Um, I can add another one of them here. No, I can't. They don't, they don't physically fit. Okay, I have to add them there. And I got 25 left. Okay, so now I bolstered some anti-tank rifles. So we can spread them around in case uh, some light vehicles come out. Those are a real nuisance. And we're going to be fighting for Rejev. Here we go. Looks like there's lots of trench lines there in that drawing. That would be really handy. There's no one in those buildings really to defend, so I had to, I had to dig some guys in. And I think all the guys that dug in made it okay. It was just that 
<laughs> they got sniped by a 37 millimeter gun. They killed the and a tank rifle team and a medic. For sure, at least killed those three guys. Six people watching. Welcome. Well, I'm actually one of them. I've got to be a watcher so I can see the, the, the text coming through there. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Eastern Front. Grab your rifle, comrade. Well, we got two zones and they're close to each other. I like that already. Let's change the angle of this a little bit so we can see what we're dealing with. Uh, this is a this is going to be a pretty nice place to defend. I'm guessing they're going to come from this direction. And then the other one is nearby. That's good. And we got lots of trenches. We got lots and lots and lots of trenches. All right, let's drop some of this infantry and hopefully no not everybody's available to come all right what did we get we got a rifle team all right so let's let's send a rifle team boy i could hardly see it's like half dark i um, mean they're really front they're really in the front of this zone well let's go ahead and put one team there um, let's put the other team put the other team here and the third rifle team we'll put them over in this zone because it's it's a it's a longer trek for the guys to get there I want them here but I don't want them necessarily that'll work Okay, and um, what's this? A tank rifle guy? We'll put him in. We'll put him here. All right, we got two tanks. One of them, this is the green tank. Green is an experience. Let's take the medics, split them up. This medic is going to go there, and the other medic will go to this location and as soon as I get three more points I can bring the other guys online oh lovely we have the the cancer that is known as spam is here well let's see if I can deal with that in a reasonable quick time let's see if I go here here well that doesn't work I'm not going to be able to deal with it I'm not going to be able to deal with it because it's in another place that if I start playing it you guys are going to hear all the commercials and stuff so 
I can only hope that 69XXX fun, everybody that works for that gets terminal cancer really quick. Bastards. Causing problems that nobody asked for. All right. Um, we have this rifle team is going to go to this objective over here. We're going to move them there. And what do we have over here? Oh, we got a third T-26. I guess I was able to bring it back to life um, because somebody survived on the crew. And the anti-tank rifle team, we will move them to... Um, man, I don't know where to put them in here. Let's, um, let's just drop them in this trench line somewhere. Okay, what's that leave? That leaves an other anti-tank rifle team. We'll move them up to this location and move them here. And let's take the three tanks now. And move them to a central location. Oh, I can just do it here. Okay, I didn't realize I could just do it from there. Sorry about that. They're coming from that direction. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Where is... Oh, man. Okay, well... We do have a rifle squad. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Stay in this trench line. Nope, stay in this trench line, folks. And let's rotate this way. These tanks have snow camouflage, yet at the same time, there's quite a bit of green here. Oh, but ta a vehicle made its appearance. Is it one of those stupid scout cars again? No, it's a Panzer One. All right, let's. Um, God, I really don't want to. Send these tanks up alone, but. Miles Patience. Is this against the AI? It is. A veteran AI. And it is a Russian campaign. And... Oh, I need to take that guy and put him prone. Who is this? Well, that's ballsy to have him attack the anti-tank rifle team. Why is he charging them? I didn't tell him to do that. You silly Russian bastard. All right, well. Let's just bring all three across there. I'm probably going to regret it. T-26 firing at a Panzer one. I 
I'm not bringing the medic. This guy's on top of the ground. I'm not taking the medic over there to save him. That Panzer one eliminated it now. I think so. All right, here's the other two tanks. Let's bring the other T-26 through here him as well. If they're going to charge across this open ground, I'm going to want to have some 45 millimeter cannons doing their doing their thing. There's a flak gun out here causing all kinds of mayhem. Now, un unfortunately, that thing can damage both of our tanks. Let's move this guy somewhere more central. Can we get a visual on it? There he is. I just can't have him just sit there and nail my guys incessantly. Looks like we did take out the flak gun. Okay. All right, where's the other T-26? Let's go ahead and move him. I'm going to leave him there. I don't really want to run through town and all kinds of bad stuff. Usually around the 20-minute mark, the AI will deploy Panzer threes. Well, they better hurry because... Shit, then a tank gun. Oh, and it looks like they got knocked out or some kind of a gun. Or a mortar. Alright, it doesn't look like they're... What's this coming up behind them? Alright. This T-26 is kind of in a precarious position. Let's take this rifle squad and move them. I don't want them up there. I want them in the trench. Let's just have them rotate this way. Somebody's not having a good day. All right. What's? I'm going to have to shift some forces from over here. Well, I don't have to, but, well, what's this? A Panzer II. Come on. Get the drop on them. I don't even want to move them. There we go. Now, let me see if I can get away with something. Let's take this rifle squad and move them, say, here. See if we can't capture a Panzer II. I gotta leave a squad there. I don't have to, but I choose to. How about that? Go ahead and go prone, guys. Now, there could be some infantry funneling their way through here. 
So let's go prone. Why is this guy running ahead when I told everybody to go prone? There we go. So I'm over half the amount of points that I need. I just got to be keeping my guys together. Luckily, it looks like they're just pretty much attacking the one point. It means I can use my tank support and keep them in the same, same place. Oh, now they're coming that way. All right, so let's... Um, oh, look at this. I'm glad I didn't move guys from here. Kill those Nazis in the open. Medic is way back here. I'm going to run him into the trench line. He should be able to make it across there. Not too much trouble. Okay. Can he climb inside? He cannot, which means we're going to have to repair. Uh, he can't climb inside either. Hey, Nordic, back to the Russian front. Yep. Uh, I'm playing with, uh, you know what I like to do? I like to paint some tanks and then and then play with them. Play with those. So we've got some T-26s here. What kind of a vehicle is this? A Panzer II? All right, boys. Nail them. Oh, shit. At the same time, another one's coming from the other direction? A Panzer II C. Oh, wow. Well, I like that this game is challenging. Okay, bail out, boys. We can... Yep, go prone. Climb your... Get out of there. We will come back and capture that tank in no time. This game is challenging. I I appreciate that. Well, at least rotate that way if they're coming that way. What happened here? These guys bailed too? Oh, one guy bailed. Well. Now, I think from what I learned from last game, as long as part of the tank crew is alive, you can just rebuild the tank. So I'm going to try to keep this tank guy, these, this tank crew alive. Let's put him back here in the woods. And um, then the infantry come through there. Maybe we can get the that's a Panzer II C. They're, they're shelling. And that's just one T26 doing it. Let's see if I can. Repair that tank fast enough. What's the other situation here? We've got, oh, we got one guy that's bleeding to death, and he just died. Well, I'm sorry, I was busy fighting things. Okay. All right. This squad that was here, I'm gonna have to move them back in the trench line because we're kind of light on defenses. 
Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to move these guys there. And then we're going to take these guys, and they'll take their position there. Set up the learning scenario for Barbarossa Army Group Center 1941, which is the Battle of Borisov. Sounds familiar. Sounds like uh, either bef right before or right after Smolensk. What's up here? One lone rifleman. guys out of there. We need a their experienced tank crew. We, we don't want to sacrifice them. Any tank rifle. We've got to keep these guys here. I could sp maybe split a couple of guys off, but I'm thinking I could survive. I got this one T-26 that is just racking up experience. It's now experience level 6. Excellent. This one's being repaired extremely slowly by world's slowest socialist <laughs> and then I only have one guy there so I'll probably take some infantry guys and throw them in there but as long as the main armament is get in there comrade oh I don't want him to continue repairing let's uh, let's get inside So if we can at least use the main armament. Yeah, so one track doesn't work. No big deal. We need them up there now. Yeah, I'm not going to send them from that direction. I'm going to send them from this direction. We're going to take this guy, and we will... Have him go in the tank. I'm just going to let him run across, and hopefully he doesn't get picked off. Run, comrade, run. And we're going to ready another guy to do the same thing. He's up to experience level 7. Here he goes. Watch him climb inside. And there's the third guy that's running towards him now. Man, I hope I got a lot more machine gun ammo. They're pushing hard in that direction. <laughs> the medic is, is low on ammo. I'm actually going to... <laughs> let's, let's crawl him there. They had a 222 that tried to come through here. Any empty rifles around here somewhere? Crew shocked. Great. Who did he get clipped by? Nine 
917. Yeah, if I knew they weren't going to push more infantry through here, I would have tried to repair some of these vehicles, but you just never know. I mean, they're literally hanging out there with their, you know, you know what's sticking out. Oh, they're sending convict, convict gendar, gendarmerie, fell gendarmerie, really high quality troops. damage. Gonna be silent for a few. I've got some bad intestinal cramps waiting for my pill to knock it out. You on you on that every day? Or just when you get in pain? Hopefully it's not perpetually on it. Nine eighty five, eighty six. Come on, you could do it. So who is this killer? Is this the one with the with the command tank? It isn't. Who is he? Nine seven forty six. Nine eighty three. Well, that one's a command tank. Victory, close. Excellent. So I lost two vehicles and knocked out seven. Lost 18 f guys and killed 155. Well, they're definitely not, they're definitely not gonna win the war that way. Just when you get pain, most days hits no matter, man. We get some experience, not very much. Two and a half points of uh, science points, I guess, is what they are with the little to be able to improve our uh, weapons. Weapons improval. Okay, we're going to resupply all. And am I back up to the three tanks? Yes. So as long as some of your tank crew survive, you don't have to rebuy the tank again. Of course, you know, you, you still have to do stuff with it. We've got five points here. What can we do on the research tree with five points? Let's go down here to vehicles. I need seven to get the T-35. And we need to get to the T-35 so I can turn the corner and start working on the KVs. Um, if I decide to do the BT route, wherever the hell it is, where's the BT? It should be just right beside it. I didn't see them. Maybe I just overlooked it. Here it is. Five will get me to a BT2, the BT5, and then I need a lot more to, to turn this corner into the T34. So I think I'm going to keep going down the route of the, of the KVs. A second, I got a message here. Okay. All right. Um, so we're going to save these. We're going to save the science points. We have a mission selection. Do we have an option? Okay, the other one looks like a shit. I wish I could tell what the other one is. I would have wanted 
this one anyways. I don't want to fight over factory. I don't really like the factory maps. They're, they've got really bad line of sight. And we've got 30 more points that we can put into this. Rifle squad. Got one rifle squad. Two, three, four. And three tanks. Honestly, I wouldn't mind having another tank and have them work in pairs. Okay, I will be right back in a moment. I think I have a visitor. Just one moment. got time for one more so uh, man that sucks hopefully that's something that has a cure or you grow out of it or something oh I guess here you can see what vehicles you have so well that's 595 that wasn't the vehicle that I had does it change based on 394 340 383 74k so one of them has the one of them has the antenna on there hey little things like that just add flavor okay we we could probably throw another squad in here honestly That's 22. I would have to get rid of the AT attachment. That would give me 20 points. I still wouldn't have enough for the squad. Well, I don't want any conscript and crappy guys. I don't want guys that I'm going to immediately just throw away. So I think we're going to need to move forward with this. Oh, save. Sure. And, um,. This is an attack one. Oh. Well, the last attack one was very interesting. Definitely glad I've got another tank.
Sometimes it takes a long time to load stuff up. But it runs pretty well once it's all going. Oh, I don't like this at all. I don't like the split group thing. One zone is, is this right before the bridgehead? Oh, this is at the bridge. Lovely. What's this one? And that one's just before a bridgehead. <sighs> wow, it's gonna be this is gonna be difficult. This is gonna be difficult. Alright, I think I need to bring my whole force here. Because I don't want to have to cross the river and leave guys on the other side of the river for a long time. I'd rather them be over here. So we're going to come over here and capture this, or attempt to capture this one first. Alright. At least it's summer. What kind of advancing terrain do we have here? We have a crossroads, more roads, intermittent woods, and a trench line. You bet there's going to be guys there. Hopefully there's no anti-tank anti -tank guns. If there are, I'm going to have a hell of a time. All right, let's just go ahead and take this, um, the medics, split them up. We actually have some infantry, has some experience. We'll have to keep those guys to back. <laughs> <coughs> Fodder forward. All right. Varium Zobov. All right. Varium. Caesar Grigoriev. All right. You go over here. It's a squad leader. And this is Ignat Gzodev. Gzodev. All right. We're going to put this medic over here. I'm going to put this medic over there. And the T26 with seven experience. You are, you are excellent comrade, comrade. All right. Let's go ahead and move this squad into there. And what's the line of sight going to... Yeah, the, the tanks, we need the tanks to push through here. So, it's going to move them. Let's move them even. Rotate this over here. Go ahead and drop prone. I don't want to hang out in this, whatever the remnants, the hulk of, of, a, of a building that never was or something. This is some terrible terrain to advance through. They're up. Who's this? Anti-tank rifle unit. We'll move them there for now. We gained two more tanks and another rifle squad. Excellent. Uh, let's move the other rifle squad all the way over there. While we position everything we want. We're going to keep all the tanks together.
and we will commence to push. This is going to be a difficult scenario. At some point, I got to upgrade my tanks. The T26s aren't going to cut it. Okay, that's all the infantry. Okay. Move the other one there. The medic can go there as well for now. Definitely going to lead with the inexperienced squad. So if somebody gets mowed down, it's those green bastards. All right, go ahead and drop prone. And boy, there's nothing good out here. How flat is it? As flat as your head. Okay. Made it all the way to there with no problem. Okay. What is this zone? All the way over there. Is there any indulation there? Nothing. All right. I'm going to have them go to their location and we'll leapfrog up. These guys I have no cover. Come on. And these guys... Also need to low crawl their ass over there. Yes, they are definitely waiting. They're they're just burning book upon book. <laughs> Little Nazi bastards.
we're going to trigger something here. There it is. Careful, there's mines nearby. Oh man, where? Well, hopefully it's hopefully it's not the um, hopefully it's not the infantry that triggered them. What's this? Uh, there's some kind of a vehicle. Stand by. Let's enfilade these guys a little bit so we don't have friendly fire issues, which are a real problem with main armaments. It's a Panzer 3F. Rotate, 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 rotate. Why am I not surprised that the one on that end is the one that got damaged? Oh, nice. Crispy Krauts. Nice. German Goulash. <laughs> Excellent. See, how did we fare on that? This guy just got damaged, but he lived. And he got up to five experience from three. Uh, I'm going to call that a win. Okay, these guys made it there. Where is it? Got a medic back here? Let's move the medic to here. But you're going to need to go ahead and go. And the anti-tank -tank rifle team, I guess they can go inside. They're going to be handy when I put them in the, that other control point. And some guys that made an appearance over here. Let's look at the I guess nobody died. I don't see anything red. They didn't leave any rifles. An experienced squad forward. Here's a guy. Uh, the DTs are going to start. There you go. The chatter of DTs. Yeah. Put them into the shell hole. Who's left back here? Nobody? Okay. Nope. Do not run. Do not run. No, no, not, not the medic. The squad. The squad, not the medic. Oh, 
this guy lost a crew member. Send one rifleman over there to climb in there and become part of the team. I wish these guys would heal themselves up by themselves instead of waiting until you gave them orders to do that. What is this? Some kind of a gun? No, nothing there. Nothing there yet anyways. I guess we move up there slowly. You guys move up there slowly. Tactics seem to be sound. Okay, we get in this trench, we'll be in good shape. And then, we're going to have to turn sideways. We're not going to cross the river here. Oh, I see a vehicle. What is it? It's a Horch. Horch with an MG34. It's going to be a bad day for that thing. Come on. You guys afraid of them or something? third crew member in there now. Good. Okay. Oh, why is this guy? Why are they? Well, what happens is when you move them in a cover that's that's like knee. Oh wow, there's guys in here. Well, we got to get in the trench line now. So they get in behind cover that involves them kneeling, and even though they've been crawling, they'll default to not crawling again. So you got to be aware. Let's health you guys up. Health up. Let's get this medic in this trench line. Okay, what else we got back here? We got the medic over here. Bring him all the way to this trench line now. And we have an anti tank, anti tank rifle team. What's over here? We got a, some infantry. Okay, anti tank rifle team. Oh, I don't want him running. He's got all day to get there. You need to get there safely, dude.
select that squad. Oh, you guys need to health up. You need to health up. The medic can only do so much. Why are these guys taking such a pounding? I need to get in here and fix stuff myself here. I'm not sure why he can't. Why he can't heal this one guy that's right here. What kind of vehicle is that? Chuck 38? Take that check 38 down. Oh, there's another vehicle over here. Ah, an armored car, an 8-rad. Come on, catch fire. All right, this is check 38 knocked out now. You know me, I got to check what the number is. 428, that last number is way too high. There's no way the last digit would be 8. Okay, what's the situation here on the tanks? Uh, we got, we got problems here. Yeah. Well, we got problems. Okay. Okay, this is the seven experience tank. Okay, let's get these guys together. Let's health up, and let's let's repair this tank. And then this tank also bailed out. Wow. So we took uh, we took some damage trying to All right, well we're going to have to move these guys in a more supporting role so that we can provide some fire support until all the tanks are operational. No! We can totally go over this. We can totally go over this. Maybe can't go over that there. That's where we want them. All right. 
Let's move this squad over. Let's move the medic over. Let's move this squad here. Move this squad over to here. We're going to let that squad sit there. We also have this squad over here. Okay. And the anti tank rifle team, which probably would be just fine there. Okay. Let's rotate this over. Gotta, we can get, I think, all four tanks moving again. Okay, the problem is, is crew members. up a little bit, back up, back up. Okay, this guy can now go that way. What do we have here? Hopefully it's not any tank gun. It is. It's a flak. It's a 20 millimeter flak. dot right on top of us. We take them out? Okay. Good Lord. Okay. They're good. Medics there. A lone rifleman's here. Well, we'll have him climb in the tank. Which apparently you can climb into. Clicked on the wrong thing. There we go. This guy needs to be in here as well. Okay, this this tank's operational. This tank's operational. This guy goes in this tank. Let's get a couple candidates to be inside of this tank. One more. So we've got one, two, three, four. We got all four tanks operational again. All right, let's rotate this over here. Something's happening at point blank range. All right, what's the infantry situation here? Other than kind of dire. We're gonna advance down the trench this way. Have these guys advance down the trench. That's two squads. Two squads. I got two squads that, for infantry that can advance. Two squads and four tanks that can advance on the other point. I guess we're going to have to do it with that. We're going to pull this number seven out last in line because he can provide some support for anything coming back up this way. Um, let's go ahead and 
give this a wide berth. There's obviously a lot of infantry that's working its way through here. And that's the direction we got to push in. This is going to be like a push from hell. But we got to do it. We got to do it. We got a medic here and maybe like a rifleman. Let me take this tank and move him back a little bit and figure out what the hell's going on here in this trench line. Okay, so I got a rifleman that hangs out with an infantry squad. I'm going to go ahead and move these guys together. So if somehow this infantry gets damaged, there's someone there to heal them nearby. rotate this way, we'll rotate that way. We've got this one tank that's up here. Yeah, I need more infantry. So we're going to have to scout with tanks, which I'm not a fan of, because all we have holding back here is a handful of, that's it, like eight guys defending this point and one T-26, and that's it. That's all we can spare. Okay, let's leapfrog our way to victory. I don't like that. It sounds like almost like it's a minefield. It might be an infantry minefield, which is just fine for tanks. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull this off. I just don't have I just don't have enough infantry. Um, let me stay away from that minefield. Dude, low crawl. Yeah, I got to keep the tank back here. I think I got I think I gotta push through this village and hope there's nobody in it. There shouldn't be anybody there. Because it's not so much that I'm out of time. 
it's that they're going to get other reinforcements. So I need to go ahead and get this done before the enemy gets other reinforcements. Actually, I need to move, make sure that they don't come under fire from some other infantry forces. I don't really want to take fire from the opposite bank of the river. Um, and where's this one? This one's here. All right, they can go about here. And I'm perfectly fine low crawling. guys are on your own. I may pull that T-26 out of there, but I think I got to keep them back there. Next stopping point. Let's move the tanks. We're going to need to go across these woods right here. I do not want to take fire from the from the far river because I'm just going to be too far away. I'm not going to be able to suppress it. Let's move two about here. This rifle squad hustle. I move him here he's going to draw fire from the other side of the we want to hit we want to push into this bridgehead when, with everybody from this direction and oh man there's a trench line here that's going to be that's going to be a potential problem well let's find out if there's somebody there the way up? Yep. I'm honestly surprised I've made it this far. Now, I'm going to pull this tank out of line. How's she on fuel? Hope we have enough fuel. Let's go over here and hopefully we don't attract any, any attention. Who the hell's firing? I 
well Why is this guy moving over here? I told him no such thing to do that. That's it. That's my forces. I could pull another tank, but I don't want him to... I don't think it's going to make a difference. We need to we need the game to end as soon as I capture that point. Move another one there. This guy goes here and the other one goes there. Pray there's no anti tank gun. We got guys at really close range here. I gotta be careful I do not get into a friendly fire situation. We have to echelon these guys. I see something that looks like some kind of a gun. It is a machine gun, fortunately. Okay. Why are you rotating in a weird fashion? Machine gun neutralized. This is where you get into trouble. This guy behind him trying to shoot through him. Got to keep him. Push him forward to the cusp of the zone. Should be able to tell how many guys are left if this thing gets triggered up. We're in good we're in good shape. We're in good shape.
could drop prone at any moment. We need to hurry up and capture that zone before they get something really nasty that takes out several of my units and there's nothing I can do about it. There you go. Did it. So they knocked out two of my vehicles. I killed nine. I lost 23 men and killed 91. So, excellent. Well, that was a glorious win for the motherland. And sometimes it just depends, depends on what they throw at you. I have done games like I've tried to do that maneuver before, and it has not worked. Um, so sometimes it's just the reinforcements show up on your flank and take you out at the wrong moment. Okay, and we will resupply all units, and that's going to be a wrap. So we did uh, five battles there with the Soviet Union, and we won four and lost one, so not too bad against a veteran opponent. Okay, folks, hopefully you enjoyed it, and we will catch you guys next time.